My name is Samad Talukbay. I'm a journalist, researcher, and descendant of great nomads. My ancestors had wandered through these steppes for centuries, followed their herds in search of the best pastures. The cattle was always their main capital. What are they now? The descendants of the great cattle breeders. The school of nomads studying the past, creating present in order to build the future. In today's program, horse breeding is the oldest occupation of nomads. Useful properties of horse meat. What is kaze? Having tamed the horse, man from time immemorial treated it with special respect. Kazakhs have always given great attention to the breeding of this animal. And in peacetime and on hard days, the horse roamed along with the steppe, shortened distances, connected villages. That is why the nomads considered this animal to be the chief among the rest. About the horse songs were sung, legends were told. In the modern world of iron horses, for the Kazakhs the horse has not lost its importance. Moreover, my people continue to develop horse breeding, the oldest occupation of our ancestors. One of the most striking examples of this is the farm that the real modern Batur, the first Kazakh Olympic champion, Jacques Solikushkempirov, has founded. And I gladly went to his farm. The senior horse breeder, Ashat Mirzaliev, has welcomed me. Hello. Hello. My name is Samad. I am studying traditional nomadic cattle breeding. I came to you today. I want to see how you develop this ancient occupation, breed horses. I want to help you here on farming. Well, will you let me be a shepherd today? It's a great idea. Welcome to the Jacques Selig farm. Thank you so much. On his farm, Jacques Selikush Kempirov has kinds of domestic animals whose breeding was known by nomads. The farm provides meat not only to the regions of Kazakhstan, but also exports it abroad. Legendary athlete engaged in livestock breeding since the beginning of 2000 years. I myself grew up in the Aul and graduated from the Semipalatinsk Zootechnical and Veterinary Institute. So this is my main specialty and I like it. Animal husbandry is one of the most important branches for our country. In 1996, I bought a land in the Balkash district in the Aralcebe settlement. I decided to breed goats there. Yes, you know, I bought 150 goats and increased the number of livestock to 500. Then my friends started to joke over me. They say it is funny for the descendant of the nomads to breed goats. Then I decided to develop my farm and started breeding cattle. That's the way starting the cultivation of goats Jacques Silikaga began collecting thoroughbred bulls, dairy cows, and lambs from all regions of the Republic. But like a true Kazakh, of course, he pays special attention to horse breeding. So he brought from the east the Altai, the Kurchim breed of horses. From the Aktubinsk region, he brought Mugujarian horses and began to increase their amount. <laughs> Of course, the horse is a special animal for us. This is our support. After all, having settled them and having taken the arms our ancestors once again defended these lands. And today, we are a state that, according to the size of its territories, occupies the ninth place on the planet. And all this thanks to the courage of our ancestors, 
and the power of our stallions. On this farm, one of the oldest breeds of Kazakh horses, Jabe, is bred. This is a large, slow-growing, hardy animal with a broad, strong back. It is most rational to breed it for the production of meat and milk. Jabe can be ridden and harnessed. What kind of horse? This is the Kazakh horse, Jabe. It is very hardy meat and dairy breed. They say purebred horse. And how did they appear? They are created by a man with the help of selection. And this breed is bred naturally. Then is this the result of natural selection? You can say that. This, you know, is an urban child and rural. Try to bring here a city child whom parents protect from all kinds of dangers, are afraid of drafts, bring it to these harsh conditions. It will be hard for the child. In Jabe, it is a child of the steppes, resistant to any difficulties. Do you understand the difference? In Kazakhstan, such breeds of horses as Mugajari, Sarakinsky are deduced from the Jabe. Researchers at Cambridge University found that the Kazakh Jabe is genetically the closest relative of wild horses. It is with this that scientists associate the special endurance of Jabe. It is known that in the history of mankind, the wild horse was domesticated almost 6,000 years ago by the tribes that inhabited the territory of present-day Kazakhstan. Today it is recognized by all known archaeologists. Well, Samat, take that cart. You came to help us. Here, let's begin. Take the cart. Let's go get the food. Feed the horses. Do you mean it is feeding time? Yes. Excellent. I'm ready. In general, Jabe horses aren't pretentious. This is a herd of horses, which is often fed on grazing. And the shepherds of this farm follow precisely this method of feeding horses. And now in the pen, I feed the young filly, which was recently bought in last year's foals. Later they will be divided and form jams. Each jam will be attached to a certain stallion, which will protect them. That's why such stallions needs a separate care. Each shoal has its own stallion, which is responsible for its own. And this handsome is one of them. Do you understand correctly? Yes, it's a stallion. What's his name? Kuren Kaska. There is not yet a jam, but in the spring, you will give him mares, yes? Yes, you see how beautiful. He has a long tail and mane. He's still young. He's only six. For a year or two, it will be even larger. In general, Jabi horses are very hardy. It is now winter and has long wool. In the spring, he will begin to shed and by the summer, he will have a short, shiny coat. This means they are so fluffy in the winter, right? Yes, it's winter wool. The neck will become wider. After he receives his jam, he becomes even larger, grows up. And without the doorpost, it will not grow. In the doorpost, he behaves like a host and protector. He will never give his horse away from his back to another stallion. And he will always protect from the wolf. The appointment of a stallion in a jam is the earliest method of breeding horses. Stallion, who in the future is entrusted with a whole shoal of horses, grows in a special conditions. People take care of their growth, nutrition. Yes, no one cuts his mane or tail. Kazakhs believe that a cropped stallion could lose its strength and courage. So when the time comes, the young stallion will be put on three or five mares. It is from this time on 
the shepherds will look closely at the abilities of the stallion. He should be able to manage the mares, lead them to grazing and watering, while being jealous and keeping other stallions away from their shoal. Let's go to grazing now. You saw how they take care of the horses on the farm. Now see how things are in grazing. It's already getting dark and the snow has gone. It's time to go and count the jams. How amazing. I am happy to learn how to graze horses in pastures. Then I'll go tie our stallion. Yes, get him into that stall. Well, let's go handsome. Grazing on pasture is an integral part of nomadic livestock. This is not only integral, but also useful. Because as an animal feeds on various types of grasses on a pasture, together with them receives a number of necessary vitamins. So both meat and milk will be much more nutritious. Tell me the difference between feeding in pens and free grazing. At the grazing, the animal grows faster. It is freely grazed. After all, a horse is not a cow. This is not a ruminant animal. She needs a lot of grass. And the horse must move. You see, here they graze themselves from the snow under the snow. Pastures are of two types, sown and natural. Natural in this case are divided into seasonal pastures, spring, summer, autumn, winter, as well as year-round pastures. In such places, plants are grown such as wormwood, berry, St. John's wort, carragonic, and tavolga. And on semi-desert pastures, wormwood predominates. What are the qualities of pasture on the pasture? For example, in the mountains on Jailau, there is a large built spring, very sweet. It promotes the growth of the animal. In the sands, an eisen grows, also a very nutritious plant. Therefore, there is a separate wintering and a summer camp. Different grasses are everywhere. Nomads from ancient times drove their herds to pastures. Almost half of the Kazakhstani lands, more precisely 180 million hectares, are today for grazing. Grass in pastures is the most nutritious food for animals, as they contain a number of mineral compounds necessary for the animal's body. A couple of jams separated from the herd, I should go behind them and return them to the place of the night of the herd. It's very cold, and I understand that grazing in winter is not an easy task. But I am a descendant of nomads, so I'll manage. <laughs> to be honest, in the beginning, I began to even freeze. But galloping a little astride warmed up. The heat emanating from the body of the horse warmed me. Some of you might think, why do you need a shepherd if the tabs are divided into shoals and each of them is monitored by a separate stallion? All right, but without the participation of people, grazing all the same cannot do. For example, early in the morning the shepherd should give direction to the herd, in which direction to graze. After lunch, animals should be driven away to rest in another place. At night, there's a separate grazing. And the stallions, meanwhile, keep an eye on that no one in there can be strayed from the main herd. This method of recreation helps correct the use of existing pastures. Yes, by night the herd should be driven to a safe place, 
to protect horses from wolves, for example. And there are a lot of such subtleties and details in grazing. They were passed on from generation to generation. That is, for one day, you can become a shepherd. Well, friends, today I've been an assistant to the herdsmen. I learned to look after horses and how many useful products they give us. It's milk and kumas and meat. And perhaps there is no Kazakh who did not like kazakh. This is a traditional sausage made of horse meat. So I want to learn how to make this delicacy. Stay with us. For thousands of years, this noble animal has given the man the most useful products and healing milk and nutritious meat. Well, kaze is an ornament of any dust sarkan. Sanya, my name is Samat. I just came from a horse farm. I fed them there, watered them, went to grazing and looked after them. And now I would like to get acquainted with one of the basic and the most delicious foods that the horse gives us. This is kaze, a horse sausage, beloved by all Kazakhs. Show us how it is prepared. Of course, Samat. Welcome. So what do we need for kaze? For kaze, you need a whole piece of meat from the horse's rib. Uh -huh. Even only from the ribs? Yes, for kaze, it is must. Here in the front of us lies a long piece of just the same rib meat. This is a natural horse's gut. We'll stuff our meat into it. That's how we prepared the basic layer. Now we need to make spices. For this, we need garlic, salt, black pepper, and thread that would tie our sausages. According to scientists, kaze is not only a delicious delicacy, but also a very useful product for the body. Compared with other types of meat, there is high protein content in horse meat. It reaches 20-25%. This is very high. What does it mean? This means that protein is the main necessary component for the development of the body. Especially it is necessary for the growing body of children and adolescents. Just the same protein is needed for adults. It improves the work of the brain and the body as a whole. In general, protein is the main source for feeding the body. Horse meat beneficially affects the work of the kidneys, cardiovascular system, strengthens bone tissue, and also normalizes the work of the body as a whole. Scientists say that this meat can affect the renewal of cells. And this is the real rejuvenation. In the opinion of the specialists, horse meat is also useful for the work of the brain. You say that only meat from ribs is suitable, but why? Does it matter? No, it's necessary to take the meat for kaze, from the ribs only, because it is there in equal amounts of a layer of meat and fat. The width of the layer varies, depending on how the horse was fed. There are kaze in width in the thumb, in two fingers, in three. And how to calculate the size? Here's a thumb, two such, it's two fingers wide, and so on. Sometimes the size is called with the palm of your hand. Everything depends on the fat content of the kaze. The most interesting is that, it turns out, even fat in kaze is useful. 
For example, fats of cattle or sheep fat, they're all saturated fats. They are difficult to assimilate. The body digests for a long time. A horse fat is not saturated. For example, there is such a thing, unsaturated fatty acids. Such fats, when used, do not turn into subcutaneous fat. They do not contribute to excess weight do not lead to obesity. Moreover, unsaturated fatty acids favorably affect the prevention of such ailments as atherosclerosis, heart disease, heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure. Samat. Let's start with garlic. It should be cleaned and crushed. Do you have to mix everything now? Yeah, that's how we mix it. All the ingredients have been added. Yes. After we mix it, we need to mix it for 20-30 minutes. And will we also leave? Yes. Therefore, knowing about such use of horse meat, it is possible to replace various sausages with kaze. Of course, there are sausages of high-quality production, but nevertheless, in them it is allowed to add various food additives. For example, emulsifier, flavor, food colorings. Therefore, for about the same price, why not buy kaze? which consists exclusively of natural products and, most importantly, from easily digestible horse meat. It can also be put into sandwiches for children. It's better than any heavy food. According to scientists, horse meat is rich in iron and contains a number of mineral compounds. The horse liver is rich in vitamins A1, B2, B12. So half an hour have passed, and with our mixture of spices, we will thoroughly rub the future kaze. After that, we will leave the meat with spices for another couple of hours. Wait two hours, we will start making kaze. Yes, we'll stuff our cooked meat into the gut. Please, tell me how to do it right. This is how we take it. And just put in? Yes, it's necessary to be careful that would not damage the natural shell of our sausage. Actually, nothing complicated. The main thing is to know the extent of the spices and carefully stuff the meat into the shell. After our sausage is ready, it should be stabbed from both sides with skewers and tied with a thread. This is done so that when cooking, our kaze does not burst. It does not lose a form, but also it's incredibly tasty. Well, my kaze is ready. It can be held for a couple of hours in the open air in order to be dried a little and then folded in the refrigerator or immediately boiled. Sonia Apai decided to cook my kaze immediately that I would try the meal made with my own hand. So after a big dastarhan, both old and young try the kaze, which I prepared. I think all liked it. I am very glad. From time immemorial, 
the horse and all the products it gives were a necessary part of the life of the nomadic people. And the development of horse breeding in modern Kazakhstan positively affects not only the economy of the country, but also helps to raise a healthy generation.